Welcome to this tutorial on restoring low-resolution images using Corel PaintShop Pro. In this video, you will learn how to touch up an old photograph and turn a special memory into a beautiful gift. First, open PaintShop Pro and make sure that the Edit tab is active. Next, open the image you are going to be working with. In this example, I have a beautiful mother and daughter photo that was taken in the 1980s. It has faded over time and has some marks on it. Also, the image resolution is very low because the scan was done over 10 years ago. In situations where the original image or negatives are no longer available, PaintShop Pro will allow you to increase the resolution manually. To do this, go to Image, Resize, and set the resolution to 300. Next, reset the size in inches to 4 by 6, or whatever the original image was. And then click OK. The photo will automatically zoom in at this point. To zoom back out to a full screen image, click the Fit Image to Window button at the top of your screen. Next, we'll remove the dust spots. Open the Makeover Tools drop down list from the standard toolbar and select the Blemish Fixer tool. The Blemish Fixer tool works like a clone brush except samples areas around a large circle that surround a smaller circle, and it uses those colors to fill in the center. For more accuracy, you can increase or decrease the size of the Blemish Fixer tool in the Interactive Properties bar at the top of your screen. Next, from the Adjust menu, move the cursor over Color and select Fade Correction. In this example, I'll do a Fade Correction of 50. By putting a check mark in Preview on Image, you can see what the effect will look like on the photo before you confirm, and then click OK. To make the image a bit more colorful, return to the Adjust menu, select Hue and Saturation, and then Hue Saturation Lightness. In this example, I'll increase the saturation to 30% and click OK. To further reduce pixelation, select Digital Noise Removal from the Adjust menu. In this example, I'll set all of the options to 50 and click OK. If there are areas that the noise removal tool didn't smooth out properly, this can be done manually using the soften brush. First, zoom into the area that you want to soften. Next, from the standard toolbar, select the soften brush. This brush is located in the same drop down list as the light and darken tools and the smudge brush. Last but not least, from the view menu, select palettes and then instant effects. First, I'll start with the Fade Correct High. This adds some detail back after the noise removal that I applied earlier. Next, to give the image a nice warm glow, use the Warm effect. Thank you for watching this tutorial using Corel PaintShop Pro.